what is up you guys it's your girl re and welcome back to another episode on my podcast so excuse me not having no lashes um i was like you know girl we gonna do this podcast we ain't gonna put no lashes on i was already taking a long time to do my hair and just like put myself together so i was just like you know what we going with no lashes because i was gonna wait until i am fully moved in before i started on my podcast but i'm like nah it can't wait it can't wait it cannot wait so yeah we're doing it in a different style different setting different way still the same me period okay y'all so today's topic is gonna be surviving your 20s y'all 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 I wish I wish I would have known more because if I did, I would have opted out. I would have honestly opted out. I don't know how, but yeah. If you are in your teens, you're not yet in your 20s and you're watching this, please listen to everything I have to say and take it serious. Do you remember for the ones that's that's 20 plus 21 plus you remember when we was like in high school and we was dying to be grown we was dying to be 20 we was dying to be 21 we was dying to be an adult in general and look at us seriously look at us are we doing as good as we thought we was gonna do i mean some people are but honestly i thought i was gonna be doing way better so personally for me my 20s is not what i thought it would be but let's let's really talk and get into it about like really like surviving your 20s because your 20s are one of the hardest one of the hardest decades you could go through. I feel like I don't know, I ain't 30 yet. I ain't nowhere close to 30. I don't know if when you get in your 30s it's also hard, but I just feel like your 20s is mad wild. Like your 20s is literally a roller coaster of physical, mental, emotional. Ooh, it's some hair in my eye. That like, I don't know about nobody else, but I was not prepared for this. Like I wish somebody would have really sat me down and told me like, hey, your 20s is going to be like this. Because this, this ain't it. Uh, as y'all know, or some of y'all may, some of y'all know, some of y'all probably don't. But, um... I am back home due to just a lot of things happening and if y'all know then y'all know like I live by myself like completely so it was literally just me myself and I and after that whole incident I just literally felt scared y'all like I know it's probably like a simple situation but me I'm I'm gonna take it serious because I feel like if you're doing that then what's next y'all I was not about to sit up there and I don't know i don't know but ever since that happened i've definitely looked at my apartment differently even when i go there in the daytime y'all to pick up oh <sighs> even when i go there in the daytime to pick up stuff it's just like i got mad ptsd i just y'all see me jump from the fridge making ice i cannot like you know you're gonna go through emotional roller coasters you're going through breakups you dating people you 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 gaining friends you losing friends you figuring out what you want to do in in your career you figuring out jobs you figuring out just a lot of stuff so it's it's real crazy but i'm glad i'm going through the phases and i'm glad that i'm learning a lot that way when i have a child i know exactly what to tell them ain't nobody told me ain't nobody told me like oh yo your 20s gonna be crazy you gonna have a little bump in the road and bruises and hicks and nobody said this i remember when i was in high school i thought like by the time i was 21 22 like i'm gonna have me a house living somewhere and i'm like girl be for real in your 20s that's where like most people find a lifelong partner have children you finding what career path you want to go down deciding what you want to do with your life moving out buying houses getting apartments getting cars like it's just a lot going on in your 20s and another thing i want to say it is okay to not have it together in your 20s like i just want to put that out there 
because it's too many people that just feel like they gotta have the fastest car gotta have the biggest house all of that stuff while being young like you're young live your life but also strive to achieve greatness strive to achieve a lot of stuff but let's talk about it let's talk about how you start off having one little tiny bill and then before you know it you have like adult adult bills that come every month you cannot skip a month they come every month whether you ready or not you you gonna get tested like relationship wise you're gonna have to like figure it out like you're gonna be talking to people not everybody you talking to is gonna make it to the relationship stage with you so you just have to pick and choose make smart decision wise decision when it comes to who you dating boys be hating too i just want to say that men boys whatever they be hating too like don't think like just because y'all are like opposite sex you're a female he a male that he not hating boys be hating too boys will purposely try to give you a child so you can be trapped with him like child mm -mm. dating do not settle if you know that somebody's not your type they're not fitting your goals they're not aligning with your dreams or stuff that you want to do then be like hey we could be cool we could be friends but honestly you're just your goals and my goals not aligning. You want to run the streets. You want to do this. You want to do that. You want to talk to multiple women. I'm trying to like focus on me. I'm trying to settle down, start to build a life, start to get to know somebody so that potentially, you know, you can start a life with them and have kids. So, yeah, just be very picky, very selective about all of that stuff. Friendship wise, everybody ain't your friend. Everybody ain't your friend. Everybody ain't your partner. Like, you have to really, like, know that friends don't come and go. And honestly, a lot of people had a mindset of thinking, like, the people that you've been knowing since preschool or the people that you've been rocking with since preschool, those going to be your lifelong friends. And that's not how that works. Like, just because y'all knew each other since diapers, since preschool, that don't mean y'all going to be rocking forever. Honestly, the truth is you find some of your lifelong friends in your 20s. Like when you go out to college or you just do a lot of stuff, That's you meet a lot of your friends when you're in your 20s. You meet a lot of your real friends when you're in your 20s. People will sabotage you, do all types of stuff. So just be very wise, be very careful. Another thing I would say is save, save, save. Like try to live but try to save at the same time. So make sure you're not missing out on experiences, but make sure you're not like just spending all your dough on experiences. Like save as well, because you you just gonna need that. Like if I would've really took saving seriously and saved money from the age of like 20 till now, I probably would've have a little something, something like, you know, a lot of something, something. So that's definitely why I would say like save, even if it's $10 a day, $20 a day like it's going to add up. If you imagine if you saving $20 every single day from the age of 20 and you're not 23. Like let's see. Hold on. So 20 times 365 7,301 years. Let's multiply that by 3. But you can buy your first car. A lot of people ain't privileged enough to have like their parents buy them their first car if you are 19 18 whatever if you literally start saving right now baby twenty one thousand nine hundred. that's basically twenty two thousand. you can have a whole car paid off like especially your early 20s this is not my final destination delay never denied this is not the end i have just so much more to achieve so much more to go this is just like a step back for me to rewind and reset. Y'all, I done got off of Instagram because Instagram is a distraction. Like when you on Instagram, Instagram, not even just Instagram, social media, period, is going to make you feel like you got to have a Lamborghini at, at 20 or you got to have a charger or a scat pack or you got to have this, you got to have that. Like social media is going to make you feel like you have to have all these things by 21, 22, 23. And really that's not how it goes half, half of the people that you see getting these scat packs charges all this stuff at 21 22 23 they finna hit 27 
they feel they finna be in debt like i ain't trying to talk down on nobody but i'm just saying like don't think that your life is over just because you don't have what somebody have that's how social media is social media is programmed to get inside your head and make you compare your life to other people and that's not a good thing so like i said me when i had moved back home i felt like damn i'm a failure like i'm back home like da, 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 da. like i said if you know the story you know if you don't then you don't but i just had to literally realize like i have to get off of social media because i'm on social media i'm scrolling and without without actually knowing social media has an influence on your mind like you might not think it you might not want to admit it but social media the things that you scroll and the things that you see on your phone has something to do with how you think or how you see yourself because you're looking at people you've seen people getting cars you've seen people get bmws bins all that stuff and you thinking like damn why can't i get that or you thinking like damn i'm older than them i'm supposed to be further in life why are they younger than me and they achieving so much like social media will really make you compare your life to the point where you like stressing yourself out you getting depressed about everything and it's like that's just not you that's not you that's not your path your time is coming what's meant for you gonna always be for you the car that's supposed to be for you it's sitting on a lot somewhere with your name written on it like you don't have to do too much to come get it when the time is right for you to go and get it it's just gonna flow right into your path and you finna get it like you finna get it when it's time to get it so for me my one of my biggest goals for this month for the month of june was to really like just stay off of instagram um, I'm still using TikTok because that's what I used to promote my YouTube channel. And that's like my YouTube channel been growing a lot um, off of TikTok. So I be on TikTok to like promote my YouTube channel. But honestly, other than that, like Instagram, I deleted my Instagram. And I'm trying to like be off of Instagram or stay away from Instagram for the whole month of June. That way I can retract, retreat, and reset my goals and just wheel around and come again and come harder this time like you know so my apartment was cool but it wasn't like no big luxury apartment that i've always dreamed of so i just feel like whenever the time comes for me to get like my next apartment it's gonna be something real like real real good that i really work hard for whether you believe it or not you could sit up here and be like oh no i'm not influenced by social media or i don't take stuff on social media seriously that's what you're thinking you're thinking you're not taking it seriously but you are because it's been what today is it's june 8th so it's pretty much been eight days since i have not have my social my main social media which is instagram and i've been doing fine and i feel like i've been doing good in my personal growth journey as well because i'm not on instagram to see what she doing or what he doing or what she doing you feel me i don't know somebody could have got them a brand new 2023 bins I'm not going to know that because I'm not on social media watching people. I'm not on social media scrolling and just looking at all this stuff. But social media is a good thing. I'm not going to sit up here and try to make it a bad thing. It's a good thing to communicate with others, to meet other people, to grow your business, to just do so much. But I also feel like whenever you need to take a break, whenever you know you need to take a break, take a break. Because it's a lot of times where I be knowing within myself that I need to take a break from Instagram, but I never take one because I'm like... I'm not going to delete Instagram. Like, I'm always on Instagram. Instagram is a part of my daily routine. So, I'm not going to delete the app. I'm going to be bored. What am I going to do? Sometimes, just getting off these apps and really just taking a step back, taking a moment to breathe, acknowledging where you are in your journey, where you are in your growth process, acknowledging, like, beautiful things are out there for you, but you kind of just have to just sit back, be calm, let it come to you, pray, you know stuff like that so i just really had to take a break from instagram for the month of june because yeah and it's been eight days since i've been on instagram and i've been fine like i'm honestly starting to even forget that like instagram was a thing or that i had an instagram account because now i'm focusing more on my youtube content i'm just i pick up my camera every day now i'm recording everything i'm always editing and if I'm not editing, like, I'm going to my apartment, getting stuff, moving stuff. Like, I don't know. I just try to keep myself active, busy. I watch TV. I just, you know, keep myself doing other things other than just, like, being on social media. I find myself reading, y'all. Like, I'm not a reading type of girl. I do not, like, I, I read, but, like, I'm not, like, oh, let me go read. Like, you know, I read if I had to, but I'm not, like, no reader type of person that'll, like, pick up a book and be reading chapters on top of chapters a day like that ain't me like you feel me 
it's, it's kind of a read once in a while here and there whenever I feel like it, whenever I'm in that groove or that mood. But yeah, get off. You got to get off of social media sometimes and really like retract and retreat. Read your book, read your Bible, pray, and just be more intertwined with you. Be more in a touch with you. When you off social, when you off social media, you have pretty much disconnected with the world and you're more connected with yourself and you're more entwined with yourself you're listening to yourself more you're paying attention to yourself more paying attention to your thoughts paying attention to your body just paying attention to everything in general so it is a good thing to be on there but y'all sometimes in your 20s social media could be one of the biggest distractions because you looking at life you compare life you thinking i'm not good enough i'm not where i'm supposed to be i'm not where she at i'm not where he at i don't have what he got i don't got what she got and all that stuff and that just kind of puts you in a in a space to where you overly thinking everything you get depressed by stuff that's not even for you you get depressed by that person having a challenger you're not supposed to have a challenger you probably only even want one because that person had one so yeah that's just life like your 20s is just a weird type of era like you're not gonna have everything you want you're not gonna get everything that you want on the first try you're going to have hicks and bumps in a row with relationships, friendships, parents, with anybody. Like, you finna just, your 20s is crazy. It's okay if you don't have it all together in your 20s. You're not going to be rich. It's, I mean, if you were just in your 20s, that's absolutely great. But everybody ain't going to be rich as hell in their 20s. Everybody's not going to have it all figured out in their 20s. Like, you know, just take your time. Go at your pace slow down just you know what i'm saying go the pace that you know you need to go and sometimes that requires you to wrap it up get off of social media sometimes like you know i am gonna reactivate my instagram but i've learned to just let stuff flow if it don't fit don't force it everything in your life is a puzzle piece that's meant to everything is meant to put together to form a big picture everything has its specific slot that it's supposed to go in you cannot force that top piece to fit at the bottom because it just don't go it just don't go and the longer you sitting up here trying to force that top piece to fit in the bottom piece you're taking time away from yourself you're taking experiences away from yourself you're taking quality time away from yourself because it's like it just can't fit no matter how you turn it no matter how you put it it just cannot fit in your 20s. It's, it's kind of fun, but it's crazy at the same time. Just a lot of stuff coming at you at once and you just kind of have to learn how to deal with it. And it's not like personal, like, you know, don't really take stuff like too personal. It's really just life, like life won't throw stuff at you and you gonna have to decide like, hey, am I gonna let this keep me down forever? Or I'ma just, I'ma be down for a little bit. I'ma accept that I'm 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 in a down season right now. I'ma let myself have that. I'ma let myself go through that phase, feel those emotions, and just accept like I'm down right now. But know that you eventually plan on like getting yourself up. You you eventually have a plan to take yourself higher, to take yourself to the next level, to take yourself to something greater, something better. Today is a new day. I'm in a great mood new person just yesterday i was vlogging a video if y'all watched my first uh my moving out series i think i just posted it like an hour or two ago yesterday i was making that whole video i was depressed the whole day because again i just kept figure i just kept trying to figure out where i went wrong in life what's going on and i just had to like step back and just breathe like you are not a failure you're not a failure and it's not the end of the world it's just life it's just things that happen it's just god knows the route you need to be on he sees the next route and the next route might look like that's the route you want to be on you're like oh i want to be on that route it's cute it's pretty it's nice it's not full of no bumps and hicks and bruises so i want to go down that route but that route is just it ain't the route you want to go on god knows best he know everything he know why you're in the position you're in he know why you're facing the things that you're facing you really just have to like keep the faith keep working keep persevering um, another thing I would say in your 20s, don't try to act like you too bad or you too hard to have feelings. We're all human beings. If we weren't supposed to have these feelings, if we weren't supposed to cry, if we weren't supposed to be sad, if we weren't supposed to be angry, if we weren't supposed to have these feelings, God would have made us blank. He would have made us regular human beings with no feelings, no emotions, no nothing. Would have just been walking around here just like dummies, like no, no feelings, no emotional connection, no nothing. 
all of these feelings that you have that you've experienced you're experiencing them and you're having them because it's a part of life it's a part of your journey it's something that you just have to go through it's something that you have to feel and yeah feel it experience it grieve hurt cry do whatever you have to do but when you know it's time when you feel like you have cried enough grieved enough been angry enough get up and continue your life your 20s is not the end of the world a lot of stuff that you never thought is gonna happen to you but the ball keeps rolling sometimes you have to let go of what you have currently so that god can release what's in his hand you got to release what's in your hand so he can release what's in his hand he got more that he want to give you more that he wants to expose you to and show you to so you just have to be patient give up what's in your hand if you if he's taking it don't fight him give it to him because he knows why he's taking it he's not gonna take it to hurt you he's not gonna take it to be spiteful to you he's taking it because he's seeing that okay i want to upgrade you i want to give you something bigger i want to give you something better i want you ex i want you to experience bigger and better but in order for you to do that i'm gonna need you to give me this let me let me hold on to this so i can give you this something bigger one thing about me when i say i'm about to give up my friends know like don't ever take me serious if i say i'm about to give up just laugh at me just laugh at me because the real me if you really know me you know i'm not ever gonna give up i'm gonna sit in my mess i'm gonna cry a little bit i'm gonna cry a lot of it i ain't even gonna lie i'm gonna sit i'm gonna sit where i'm at and i'm gonna cry i'm gonna cry as long as hard as much as i need to but when it's time to brush myself off and get up, hello, what you saying to me? Who was down? Who was crying? Cause who? Yeah. You are the only one in control of your mind. Don't lose it. It's not the end of the world. You are still beautiful. There's a lot of money out there for you. There's a lot of opportunities out there for you. There's a lot of experiences out there for you. You're still pretty young. And that's what I have to constantly remind myself a lot of the times. You are young. You are young. A lot of us in our 20s, we just have so much high expectations for ourselves. We believe in ourselves so much. And we just like, you know, to the point where it's just like, oh my God, like, what if I fail? Like, oh my God, I got to succeed by 25. I got to succeed by 30. I got to do this by this. I got to do that by that. But there's no time limit on your success. Do you for you. Just be the best you. Work hard at everything you're doing. And your dreams, everything you want will come true. From queen to queen, period. That's pretty much it for the next segment on Talking with the Don. Y'all know I always come to uplift. I will see y'all in the next segment.